Well, good evening, Jim. Lovely, sweet Len. Good evening. I had the best story I wanted to tell tonight. It is so funny. But if I told you, we'd, well, I couldn't tell you how brilliant Jim is if I told you the story, so I'm not going to do that. Of course, I'm not sure why I'm here, because all I have to do is refer all of you to Jim's Wikipedia page. Yes, he has a Wikipedia page. You know, we've all had that feeling at some time in our life, or at least I have, and I'm sure some of you have, that you've lived in somebody else's shadow. Well, it would have been easy for Jim to do that. His parents, Harvey and Bernice Stanford, uh, Las Vegas High School, of course, Coach Stanford, the storied, legendary 1944 Las Vegas High School Wildcat team, which was undefeated, untied, and unscored upon, still in the history books in this country, and his lovely bride and Jim's wonderful mother, Bernice, who uh, also a fantastic teacher at Las Vegas High School, and uh, they have a school name for them here. Would have been easy for Jim to have lived in those shadows. Would have been easy for me to have lived in those shadows. Any of you who think Jim Stanford could live in anybody's shadow, you just don't know Jim Stanford. Let me just touch on a few highlights of this amazing man and my friend. In 1971, Stanford earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in painting from UNLV. He later attended the University of Washington, earning a Master of Fine Arts in Painting. And then he returned to his alma mater here at UNLV to become a professor. But as much as Jim loves working with students and young talent, he is probably happiest working in his studio. Jim is a recognized leader and pioneer of the Las Vegas arts community. I don't think that's debatable. He served as chairman of the Las Vegas Arts Commission. During his time, he developed the downtown Las Vegas lightscape installation called uh, By Art in America, a very prestigious magazine, as one of the top 20 public art projects of the era. Additionally, he was president of the Las Vegas Contemporary Arts Collective and founding board member of the Goldwell Open Air Museum in Beatty, Nevada. One of his noted projects was the Phalanx of Angels in the Cultural Corridor involving the Blue Angel sign designed by the legendary Betty Willis. In 2020, Jim created another monumental mural titled From the Land Beyond, inspired by the 1958 film The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. The mural was commissioned by the Cultural Corridor Coalition as part of the beautification of downtown Las Vegas. The essence of Jim, I think, is that his personality is integral to his way of doing business. Normal rules really don't apply to Jim. It's the passion, intensity, and emotionalism that he brings to everyday life, and these are the things that he also pours in to his art. Precocious? Yes. Impatient? Of course but all of it wrapped up into a wonderful, magical package of perfectionism. All of this is very much evident in his most recent work, Shimmering Zen, which happens to be my personal favorite. In Shimmering Zen, Jim transformed original photographs of Las Vegas mid-century architecture and neon signs into intricate designs through the use of the digital art form. An early adopter of digital art, Jim created a kaleidoscopic photo montage that captured iconic Las Vegas and its legendary neon signs. If you haven't seen Shimmering Zen, you need to pick up a coffee, copy. It's an absolutely wonderful book. I'd like to close, before introducing Jim, with this artist prayer, and this is to you, my friend. May your heart and mind be refreshed as you create. May you be filled with courage, innovation, and freedom as you explore new ideas. And may you know how much your art touches and heals our world. Jim, you are in no one's shadow. And guess what? Your parents are beaming tonight. 
What a life, what an artist, and what a credit to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Jim Stanford.